it might be easier if I just talk to the camera like this. You can see my face close together. Um, basically, I just wanted to make a video about volunteer travel and my experiences with that. I originally signed up for a program back in 2017 and I uh, was with a company called GoEco and I went to New Zealand for two weeks and planted trees and I was really all about you know the uh, the idea of giving back and you know going to other countries and connecting with people that want to do good all that stuff so uh, it was a good experience um, when I got there I <laughs> realized that two weeks is definitely not enough. Um, it was in between a semester though, so it was during like a winter break, so I, I did have a limited amount of time. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, the thing that burdens me the most is the amount of money that I paid to do that. Um, now flying to New Zealand was an expensive endeavor in itself, and uh, it was definitely a good experience, um, but actually paying the program fee if I remember correctly, it was around $2,000, which uh, did include food and bus trips and everything else. But it, it also, uh, yeah, that was a lot of money to do that. So um, I just wanted to make a, a video um, because recently I came across a blog, and I'm trying to find it again. Um, a woman wrote like a whole website blog about volunteer travel and why you should reconsider and sometimes the negative effects it can have based on the type of volunteering and where you are. So that was an interesting thing to stumble across after the fact. Not saying, I'm not personally saying that volunteer travel is bad. I think it really does depend on what you're doing, where you go. I would say if you're looking into doing it, just be really careful. Do your homework, do your research. Um, personally, I would never go with GoEco again. I think they're just kind of a scam and I mean, they're basically a travel agency that just connects you with a volunteer organization. They, you know, that's all they do. Um, so it, yeah, that was not worth the money. I've learned now it's like, it's better, you know, as a solo traveler and I did this in Cape Town, I came across a group that uh, works with dogs and anyone can volunteer. So I did that for uh, a little bit of time. Just, you know, didn't pay any program fees or any of that, bullshit, uh, you know, I was just on my own um, and just, yeah, volunteered for a while and uh, that worked out great. So I would say if you have an idea of the place you want to go, the country you want to go, you might want to go there or start looking up volunteer organizations that are in the area and contact them directly yourself. And if they don't really need volunteers or, you know, it's like it might be better if you just donate your money to them, you know, if you if you really want to, you know, give back or have an impact. But again, just with the volunteer travel, I just wanted to make a quick video because it really does it really does depend uh, on what you're doing, oh, what, what you want to do. Um, I'll appreciate you know that the feeling want to, wanting to make a difference, um, and you know, travel, uh, you know, travel is one of the ways you can do that, but. Um, I would say just really just do your homework, do your research, don't pay ridiculous program fees. Um, why should you pay to volunteer? Uh, certain situations, yes, understandable. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of these organizations, they get grants from their local governments and stuff, and I'm not saying all of them do, but I would just, just really just do the research, do the homework don't get ripped off, you know? I mean, that's one of the things, like volunteer travel, it's like you're driven by that desire to, you know, do something good and people are just capitalizing off that. So don't let those assholes get in the way of you just, you know, just trying to be pure and make a difference. Don't let the middlemen, you know, rob you of money. Just be careful and um, yeah. When you finally figure it out, go do it and enjoy every minute of it because it is, uh, it's a good feeling, you know, to finally actually do the thing you want to do. So with that, thanks for watching this short video. See you later.